Split fine, no need an assignment Straight flow and eyes on the climbing Undecide, no man at the climbing But the bitches in my third trimester all right. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I'm at the gym. I'm getting ready to work out. But I wanted to come on here because I got the last time I was in my car and I did like a video like this. It was super overexposed as it is right now, as you can see. And so I got me an indie filter. So I'm super excited. It's basically like sunglasses for your camera. So we finna put this little thing on like so like that. Auntie Tab say like so like that. And it already looks so much better. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy, y'all. I'm really trying to get into, like, my camera bag and, like, genuinely trying to understand, like, like cinema, basically, and, like, how to film, what to use, equipment. I ordered another lens. That should be here soon. All of that. And I just want my content to just... I just want good-looking content. Now, I'm still a little bit overexposed right here, so... I'll leave it alone. I'm just going to go along. It's good. It's going to get. And I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all my whole workout because it's just another leg day. And y'all already saw my leg day last time I did it. Last time I was here, actually. Well, no, not the last time. The video before last, y'all saw my leg day. So, with that said, I'm going to probably do... I'm going to do a little bit of core and I'll film that for y'all. Show y'all what my core looks, my core workouts look like or whatever. And then we're going to go to the grocery store. It's a couple things I got to do today. I just figured I'll take y'all with me. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Alright you guys, so we are at Publix. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my anxiety is not there yet for me to like take my camera in the store. So with that said, I'm gonna probably film this with my phone. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I get at Publix. Y'all, I am so tired. I am exhausted. It, I don't know, that workout took a lot out of me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'm like low on iron or something, but I am so tired. It took everything in me just to get up and go to this grocery store. It's already five o'clock, it's late, and it gets dark super quick here in North Carolina. So it's like, I got probably about an hour left of sunlight. So I need to hurry up, go in here, get my groceries and go home. Thankfully, it's only about 12 minutes away from my house. Um, so I don't know, yeah. We'll see how I'm feeling once I'm like done grocery shopping, if I feel a little bit better, but let's go. <laughs> So they have blackberries. I know I know you get some strawberries. So they have any organic strawberries. Here we go. Organic strawberries. Hi. Ooh, these are a little mid. Mm -mm. This is nice. Now yeah, we're gonna go with these. And see if they have any organic blueberries. These all look like regular blueberries. I found the organic blueberries. Yay! So I'm going to get a pack of these. Found the organic bananas. So we're going to get some of those. Well, let me make sure these are the organic ones. They even have the green. Yeah, they have the green. So let me get a pack of those. These look pretty good. Alright, and I'm getting my baby spinach. I always keep spinach in my house. So I'm gonna grab that. I think I wanna get some orange juice. So let's see what they have. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna get the cheap one because orange juice is expensive for no reason. So we're gonna grab this. Alright, so we should get a grab it. So I think I'm gonna I've had all these. I'm gonna go with the cheapest option. We're gonna get this. <laughs> I got some pepper sauce that I want to try, so we'll see if it's good. I'm going to get two things of spring water because I'm all out. So I usually get coconut milk, but this is the only kind that they have. Um, and it's really expensive if you can see much on English. They do have almond milk, but I really try not to drink almond milk or oat milk because it's really high in acid. And I'm trying to get more alkaline type stuff and coconut milk is probably the best bet when it comes to alkaline now granted i'm no longer completely alkaline but i try to keep most of the diet alkaline so i don't know we're gonna try this and pray that it's not too expensive for us money and then obviously i can always get some more things y'all my organic eggs have gone up to almost nine dollars i thankfully found this one for about seven bucks but 825, 886. This is the usually like this kind. I get that kind and I get this kind. It's just way too high. So we're gonna go with this. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. My favorite yogurt and it's plant-based and it's high in protein. So we're gonna grab a few of these. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I already put away all my groceries and I'm home now. I'm so tired. But I wanted to try a Publix deli sandwich. I've heard nothing but amazing things. Um, I've heard nothing but great things. It was $7 for only half of it, but we're going to try it. And I got some, what was that? Anyway, I got some chips and I got a water in my fridge. So we're going to try this and see if it's any good. Only thing is I forgot to get um, vinegar and salt and pepper on it. So I'm going to put some on it because I already have some like, I have like red wine vinegar. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing that they've using in there. If it's not, oh well, I'm gonna try it. And hopefully it'll be good. This is the sandwich. I might have went a little heavy handed on the black pepper, but I added the rice wine vinegar and I added the um, salt. So I'm about to try it and see if it's hitting. All right, so we about to try it. I've already prayed over my food. This better be good. So I'm gonna take a bite. So I'm sitting here eating, I'm like, something tastes smoky. And I remember, I asked for Munster cheese on this. I got Munster, provolone, and Swiss, because I'm a cheese girl. I like different kinds of cheese. I like funky cheese, all that. And I think I'm gonna start doing that. It's good. The bread's a little too toasty for my liking. It's like mad hard, as you saw, like when I been into it, it was like mad crunchy. But okay, Publix, y'all doing y'all thing on the sub side. I might have to stop. Well, I don't know. We'll see how I feel whenever I go grocery shopping if I want to make an extra stop at the deli and get another sub sandwich. But I'm going to get this, like Keith be saying, I'm going to get this one. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.8 out of 10. So <laughs> I'm going to finish my food, y'all. And I think that's going to be the end of this vlog. If not, then I'll probably like end up just combining this with another day and then post it all on a separate day but yeah maybe i'll see y'all next time maybe not if not subscribe and god bless you bye Hi. so we are back in my kitchen area as you can see and today i'm going to start packing now why am i packing because it's time for me to move, child. And I'm so thankful to God that it's time for me to move. Like, there's so many different reasons why I'm excited to move, but also sad. This was my first apartment, like, on my own. But I'm so thankful to God that I was here. I lived here for two years, almost two years. And it was a great first experience. You know, we all got to start somewhere, riding a bike with training wheels, you understand me? But it's time to move on. I'm just so thankful that it's time to move on. <laughs> Let me stop, but no, um, it was just so funny the way God confirmed that he wanted me to move. It was something that me and my best friend were talking, and this is going to be a little short little part. Y'all going to watch me start packing up, because I'm going to start packing up my closet first, which is that room right there. I'm going to start packing up my closet first, because I knew I either need to do my storage closet, which is like outside, or my actual closet, because they're the messiest, most filled up parts of my house. So we're going to start there, but um, 
I was on the phone with my best friend. And she was like, girl, we were talking about something. I think we were talking about like my car because I need a new car too. <laughs> it's just so much, but I'm thankful though because it's all, it just means that God is doing a new thing and I'm, I'm super appreciative of that, super thankful. So anyway, I think we were talking about my car or something. She was like trying to help me get a car and her husband was helping me like because he used to be a car, a used car salesman. So he was giving me all these pointers and tips and it was a great conversation. But then I started, something happened. I can't remember what it was, but, and I remember basically saying something along the lines of, well, how am I supposed to have a new car and pay this rent? Because I ain't gonna lie, my rent is high. So, so she was like, you know, she was like, oh girl, you know, you act like you you don't have like a year. I said, I don't. <laughs> I was like, girl, my lease is up very, very soon. It is, it's up in a few months. And so she didn't know that, of course, you know. And so I expressed to her, I'm like, girl, I don't know what I'm gonna do, da da da, I need a new car. And you know, my lease is coming up. I don't wanna, I don't, I appreciate this, this complex, this apartment complex that I've been at, but they raised my rent last year and I know they're gonna do it again this year. And I just don't have time for that right now. I got too much other stuff going on. I just don't have time for that right now. So anyway, so <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Well, did you pray and ask God if it was time for you to move? Or like, you know, or should you just trust him and trust that he's gonna, you know, intercede for you financially because he did that with my rent raise last year. He interceded for me financially the whole night. It was so beautiful. And God truly did show me that he is a provider all last year, all last year. So anyway, so I was like, no, you know, I ain't really prayed about it because I ain't really want to get the answer. I wasn't ready to find out, yeah, dude, you got to stay another year. You feel me? Like, I wasn't really trying to get into all of that. But push came to shove and I went ahead and prayed about it. And he did not delay. He didn't take no time. He said, yeah. <laughs> he said, it's time for you to move. So I ended up seeing like some video talking about some when God tells you to move. And I was like, okay. I was like, but I want to make action. Absolutely sure. So I'm like, Lord, you know, I need, I need one more confirmation. I need you to tell me one more time if it's really time for me to move. And I ended up, I think I went to sleep that night and I woke up the next day. And the first thing I heard when I woke up was September. And I was like, September? So I was like, well, let me look back at my notes from September. The first day, cause I write notes whenever God talks to me or whenever I feel like, you know, I want to just get my mind clear or whatever. I write notes in my phone. So I went to September 1st. <laughs> God is so good. I went to September 1st and in my notes, the first day of September, y'all, it was an old screenshot that I had put in there and it says, it's time to move. And I was like, I don't even know why I put that in my notes. I don't know what I was talking about with God at that time, nothing. But I was like, all right, Lord, it's time to go. Like, I don't remember none of that. So anyway, so yeah, so now we're here and I got my boxes. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't have, you know, a, I've, obviously I've been looking, but I don't have a specific place where I'm going just yet. Um, my Again, like I said previously, my lease doesn't end for a few months, so I am doing this very early, but it's because God told me to. He told me to get some boxes last weekend. I got some boxes. I've been trying to be obedient and listen to what he told me to do. And so we finna pack. We're finna pack today. I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of background. And yeah, let's get to packing. Okay, so we are currently inside of my closet. <laughs> and you see the box or all of my stuff that I have that I don't wear, stuff I don't even use and just how messy it is. We have some boxes in the back. Um, I probably need to get some more boxes. But I think I'm gonna start with stuff that I know that I just don't wear and then just start throwing it inside of boxes. Real quick though, this morning, I want to go see Creed 3. I don't know if anybody watched that franchise, but when I tell y'all that was the best movie I've ever seen in my life, like I'm not even trying to drag it. Like all of my top like favorite movies, like this type of stuff, y'all, I do not wear this kind of stuff. At least not no more. I used to wear it back in the day. So anyway, <laughs> when I um when I went to go see that movie, it was so beautiful. I was so just overwhelmed it was directed beautifully it was written beautifully it was about brotherhood like obviously i'm not gonna get y'all no spoilers but it was like about brotherhood about the struggle of a like a, a black man a man who's in, who's been incarcerated <sighs> childhood trauma like it was just so much and it was just so beautifully done and michael b jordan ended up being the one to produce it this time which is or not produce i'm sorry direct it which i thought was it was done so beautifully it's a phenomenal movie if y'all have not gone to see it Please do that, because you will not regret it. 
and I'm over here acting like I'm a multitasker when I know that I get distracted very easily. So let's see if I can multitask and do all of this stuff while I'm talking to y'all. But yeah, it was such a good movie and it was so, <laughs> I was in there boohooing, but I'm also just a crier, but uh, all of my like top movies are always like Marvel. Like Spider-Man is my favorite movie of all time. And then Spider-Man No Way Home is my second favorite movie. And then Creed 3 would have to be my third favorite movie. Like, and I feel like it don't even, I feel like it should not even be in that category because those are all like superhero Marvel type movies. Like, I don't know. I feel like Creed is in a league of its own for me personally. It's in a league of its own. Like I shouldn't even have it up there with Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home because that's that's nostalgia for me. Like that's what I grew up with. Creed 3, that's something that hit me right now, right where I am in my life right now. And just like my love for black man, how much I love my man so much. And just know that when I see stuff like that and I see it, like, and I think about it in my own personal life, I immediately think about how I personally just know that a black man needs a strong black woman to pray over him, to cover him, and just... Y'all can go on and on and on. <laughs> I really, really could because it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I think I'm going to do all my winter clothes. As you can see, I still have my winter clothes. It almost feels like it's like almost spring cleaning in a sense rather than... Dang, this one's super cropped. I think I got this from Shein. Shein, however you pronounce it. But yeah, like... What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, I was saying that this is going to be like spring cleaning, but I'm moving. So, yeah. But I'm not going to make y'all sit with me this whole time while I do all of this. I just wanted to give y'all a little update about my life. I don't know. I might come back later. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my closet. I'm super, super happy with how much I just finished. <laughs> As y'all can see, it's very empty. My top is essentially empty i emptied out all of that took out purses bags shoes clothes that i don't wear winter clothes i don't wear coats all that kind of stuff it's not the cleanest i left most of my shoes because i still like to go out and stuff like i kept my heels tennis shoes for when i go to the gym boots for when i not boots boots but like booties or whatever anyway so girl <laughs> i was about to call y'all girl because at this point y'all are going Unless I have so many God that are following me as well. <laughs> but y'all understand, like, it's such a sigh of relief. When I was doing this and I just saw how clean my closet was getting and just, like, that realization that it really is time for me to go was such a weight off my shoulders. Like, I felt lighter when I was finished packing everything away in boxes. Like, I genuinely felt so good to know that one chapter of my life has ended and then I'm about to enter into a new one I'm so blessed and I don't know it just feels so good it just really does feel good so this is my closet for right now tomorrow when I get up I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my storage unit which is outside um sorry y'all know this lighting is horrible let me fix this the sun is setting so the lighting is really bad right now so anyway as you can see I have my boxes I got two right here and I got a big one over there um, if I'm not covering it up, I gotta be going over there. And then I have this bag right here. Stuff I'm taking to the Goodwill. But, yeah. <laughs> like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna start working on my storage unit. And like, cause now it's like, once I done got started, ooh, way overexposed. But once I done got started, I'm ready to just keep going. Like, I'm genuinely ready to just keep going. And just start packing everything up and getting ready to go. And just like, getting my mindset in a space where okay like at least you're prepared at least you know that this is something that you know you you didn't finish and you're not doing at the last minute because anybody know me i do stuff at the last minute child i don't mean to it's just i gotta get out of that it's a horrible habit so yeah uh i probably will film a little bit of tomorrow of me doing my storage unit i don't know what my cats are doing ah, get out yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably film a little bit of me doing my storage unit because that was the second biggest thing i need to tackle and i cannot wait to do that i cannot wait to arm it Stop it. I can't wait to do that and get it over with. Y'all, it's, I don't know, this just feels so good. It just feels so good. So if y'all wanna continue on with this journey with me, let me know if y'all wanna know, you know, I don't know, if y'all just have questions, drop them down in the chat. Like, all right, y'all, I might see y'all tomorrow. All right. Okay, hey y'all, so um, it's Sunday and the day is basically gone. It's like almost four o'clock. 
However, I wanna make sure that I start on my storage unit that I have outside of my house. It's a little, um, y'all see it, it's a door right there. So I'm gonna get started on that regarding packing it up. I'm about to show y'all what it looks like. Please excuse the stuff on my face. I'm having a random breakout. I think it's cause I started eating this new chocolate. I don't think my, I don't think my skin like it. So I'm having a breakout, which is really frustrating. So let me move my cat out the way. Excuse me, y'all. Sorry. Sorry for the overexposing lighting. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This version looks horrible. It looks so bad, but there's so much stuff in there. Like, that's the box I'm gonna use to kind of clean it out, but that is what it's looking like. So we're gonna get started doing that. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna set y'all up somewhere to show y'all what I'm doing. I might, we'll see. Okay, so I am, well, let me pause my TV, it's fine. Okay, I'm done with the last two boxes that I had. The only thing is, the one of my boxes wasn't big enough. I thought I, I got a large, but I must have needed an extra large. Um, As you can see, it's toe up a little bit, but I got this little box over here. So now I am making way. Um, Most of my storage closet is already like in bags and stuff, and I think I'm going to leave it like that because... I don't think I'm moving extremely far. Um, move. He wanna go outside. He can't go outside until I get this fence. Cause I do not want him falling off my balcony. Anyway. But yeah, like it's already in bags as you can see. So a lot of this stuff, Army. No. Alright, I'm gonna let him do his little thing for five minutes. But anyway. So yeah, y'all. We're making headway. A lot of my stuff in that storage is in suitcases as well. There's like a I don't know if you see that, it's a big suitcase right there, right there. And then I got another suitcase up there, like I said, bags, boxes, a lot of it is already in boxes and stuff. So I'm going to put these boxes in there where they can fit, try to play Tetris a little bit. But yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. That's all I'm going to do for this video. Let me do a proper outro. That's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching. Like I said, stay tuned with me on this journey as I figure out where God wants me to go and um, as I find a place. And I believe it's going to happen miraculously. That's never an issue when it comes to God. So I'm super excited to find out where I'm going. But, uh, but yeah, like just continue to stay close to him, continue to pray and, and get your own interpretation or understanding of what it is that God is telling you to do in this season. But I just know that for me, this is something new and I'm super excited about the new. So yeah, all right, I'll see y'all in my next video.